Hello guys, this is Afri Design Studios and I am Frank Ilo. In this video, we shall be looking at how you can connect the railing of your ramp and that of a flat floor, okay? In other words, how to connect the railing of a sloped floor and a flat floor just like you have it on the screen so with this explanation out of the way can we just move straight to revit so when we get here i would want to create my ramp here so that i can connect the railing coming from this flat floor on our ground floor level to that of our slopey ramp having said that let me delete these steps the next thing i have to do is to go to my natural ground level to create my ramp in this case i may want to create using the sweep method because if i should use the What's it called now? If I should use the ramp, the, the more accepted ramp method, it normally comes with railing, and I don't want that. So let me hide this so I can see this place very well. The next thing I'm going to do is to go to architecture, go to components, go to model in place, click on this, select anything here. I'm just going to click straight away. Then I'm going to click on sweep. The next thing I'm going to do is to click on sketch parts. Then I will come here and click like this. And where would I stop now? I would want it to stop on this line. This wall coming here. I can't see it. So let me stop it here. Let me stop it at this pillar. Okay. Then I go here and click finish edit mode. The next thing I have to do is to go to Edit Profile and click. Then I'm going to select West. Then Open View. Once I've opened my view, the height of my ground floor level is 600. Then I move upwards and type 600 and press Enter. Then I press Escape once. Then I come down here again and click here and go to my to my right this time around i'm going to type the length as 3000 but it seems 3000 is too big too long let's make it 2400 this is going to make the ramp to be steep and sharp but that's that's okay this is just a tutorial so i'm going to click here then i'm going to come here and click finish edit mode Finish edit mode. Then it's going to bring this for me to select my material. Then I click on this place by category. Then I click on this radio icon and put in here. Then the next thing I have to do is to scroll to search for the, the material I would use. Okay, I would want to use concrete, this concrete material. Then I click here. Then I click OK. Then I click finish model. So once I've clicked finish model, it means the, model, the sketching is completed. Then I go here to this default 3D view. Then you can see my ramp already. This is the ramp. You can see the way it runs into the ground floor level. So, but if I should create a ramp, a, a railing here, it is not going to connect with this. They won't join together. They will not join. So what I'm going to do is to Click on this and delete that. Click on this and delete. Once I've deleted that, I'm going to create a fresh railing on this too. What do I do now? I go to ground floor level, not natural ground level anymore. I move up a bit to ground floor plan. Then when I come here, unfortunately I cannot see my I cannot see my Ramp. Let me go to to underlay 
and see if it can reveal the run. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that, but let me see. So I go to this natural gender. Okay, luckily enough, it is revealed. So let me hide the dimensions so I can see it properly. So I click on elements to hide that very dimension there. So this is my run. The next thing I'm going to do once I've come to the ground floor plan view is to go to architecture. Click on architecture. Then I'm going to click on railing. Click on railing. Then I come here and click on this point. Then bring it here to the starting point of the railing. Where is the starting point? Okay, here. Then I click there and stop. Don't just draw a straight line at once. When you get to the point where the, the, the ramp starts, click there to stop. Then you now continue again without ending, without ending the command. Bring it here and click. Once you have done that, the next thing you have to do is to click on this. Finish the sketch. Once you have finished the sketch, click on modify to end the, the command. Then click on your default 3D view. Then when you look at this, you can see that this very railing is not following the ramp. It is not following the ramp at all. It is not following the ramp. So what do we do for us to make it to follow the ramp? So what you do is this, is to go back to the, what is it called again? The ground floor level. And click on the on the railing. When you click on this railing, click on edit path. Then click on this very one. This very one that is on the slope. The next thing you have to do is to come here. Here you have slope. Click on this arrow at the bar and select slopes. If it is to be a flat surface, you select flat. But hence it is on a sloped floor. Click on slopes. The next thing you have to do is come here where you have height correction. Click on this again and select custom. Then the third thing you do is to come here and put the height of the ground floor or whatsoever floor where the ramp is looking from. The height of this ground floor is 600 millimeters. But because we are going downwards, we are going downwards to the natural ground level, we are going to put a minus sign. So I put minus 600. Once I've done that, I come here and click finish edit mode. Okay. Then I click modify to end the command. Then I come to default strategy view. And when you look at this, it has sloped. But you can see there are some little discrepancies. Some you can see like this bar. This bar is not touching on the floor. Even this one is stopping halfway. That is the problem. Even this is stopping halfway. They are supposed to go through down. Okay? But they are not. So what do you do? Just click on the railing again and go here to edit type. Then come to Duplic no, not duplicate this time around. What you are going to do is come to baluster placements and click on this edit. Then you come here. Here you have um, here you have this. Okay, click on this host. Click on the host and click on this arrow here and select. Scroll down, right down and select top rail element and click on it. Then you come to this top. Okay, it is already there. If not, make this to be at top rail element as well. Okay, so the next thing you have to do is to come to base offset. Base offset. Click inside here. Depending on the height of the the height of the railing, if it is nine hundred, put minus nine hundred. If it is one thousand, put minus one thousand. I'm not too sure about this, but let me put nine hundred. Minus 900. Whatsoever is the height of your railing is what you are going to put there. 
but it has to be a negative sign. Then after doing this, you come down here for the days here. Okay, click on this host and select top real elements. Come here again, top real elements, and come here again, top real elements. Okay, so once you have done that, you come to this base offset again, click inside here, minus 900, and come to the second one, minus 900, and come to the third one, minus 900. Once you have done this, that is all. That is all you need to do. Just click OK. And click OK the second time. And you can see everything is in order now. Click on Modify. And the railing is intact. You can see how it looks all the way from the ground floor into the ramp. Okay? Into the ramp without any issue. So you can you know, replicate this again here by creating another railing system here just the way you created this you can create another one here but in that in that second one you don't need to put this other one there shouldn't be any rail here because there is already a door here but you can create a railing here as well so this is how to create or rather this is how to join the railing of a flat floor and a sloped floor into one thank you once again for watching this video and thank you for subscribing to our youtube channel and also for recommending our channel to your friends and colleagues this kind of video we make them every single day and i bet you you will never get sticking to this channel thank you once again and bye